Welcome to Flurry Nexus, our cloud data management platform. Today, I'm going to walk you through some basics to get you started, some of the features we have available, and some of what will be coming next. Once you log into your account, you'll see this profile screen without any data sets. Your first step is to create a data set. Currently, we only support creating private data sets, but soon we'll be adding public data sets and organization data sets as well. By clicking on the Query tab, we can already query the data set. Running Select Star from Collection will show you the system collections created when you added the data set. Let's see what's in that user collection. We don't have any users yet. Let's add some. To add users, we're going to click on the Transact tab. Before we add users, let's add an additional predicate of company to the user collection. Now we can add our user with the company predicate. Let's visit the history tab to see the blocks that have been created so far for these transactions. You can see more information about the transaction by expanding the blocks. Now let's go back and query the users again. If you start typing query, you can see the snippets available on the query code editor. You can tab through the placeholders. Now you can see the user we created. Let's try an analytical query. Analytical queries with this grid shape will allow you to view the results as a table as well. Let's add another user and see what that looks like. Now going back to the query tab, we can see some of our recent queries show up in the sidebar on the right. You can click there to run the query again. These queries are stored locally in your browser. If you want to save the query so it persists on our system, click on the Save Query button and add a description. The Save Query will show up on the Dataset Overview page, as well as all your Save Queries will show up on your user profile under Save Queries. For more information about running queries and transactions, you can visit our Flurry development site by clicking on your profile and going to the docs. In the next video, I'll show you how to connect to your dataset for development.